Hello, Tony Schmidt, Chief Executive of Save the Channel. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you for having me. A lot of people here in Davos are talking about the presence of Donald Trump. Yeah. You're here talking about humanitarian crises mm. all over the world. Is Donald Trump coming to Davos going to be a distraction from those important issues? No, I mean, Donald Trump can be a distraction whether he's here or not. Um, he certainly was last year as well. Was he, he was inaugurated in the week that we held the, the Davos week. I just hope that we will all focus on what is really important. We talk about a more fractured world. Uh, we talk about the people who are left behind. And I'm here to remind everyone that if we really want to do something for the people who are left behind, we need to really deeply understand the humanitarian crisis that many people are suffering from for perhaps the biggest humanitarian crisis since the Second World War. And my job here is to talk about the children who are suffering every day. Even though uh, we, we try to do so much, there's still so much more we can do. Yemen has been described as the worst humanitarian crisis yes. the world is experiencing at the moment. What's the experience that you're getting from, from the work that you're doing there? That is exactly that. I would describe Yemen as the, the world worst place on earth to be a child right now. Uh, more than 100 children are losing their lives every day uh, simply because they are malnourished, uh, because they can't get the health uh, service that they, they should need. Uh, and these are children that have, have experienced nothing but, uh, but war, of course. This has been going on for a very long time. And what we have seen as human humanitarian agencies is how hard it's been to bring help to these people. We've been actually waiting in the harbour to get in with, uh, with help. Uh, that has been suffering from a, from a blockade. So we're really seeing that uh, getting in with humanitarian assistance is being used as a weapon of, weapons of war. Um, and that is uh, something that, of course, children are suffering from. Can you see an event like the discussions that happen here in Davos actually helping to resolve those issues, helping to come up with some sort of solution? Well, the most important for us is uh, to put these, uh, these children who are suffering uh, on the on our minds. We must never forget these children. Uh, it might be that Yemen and to a certain extent Syria has left our t TV screens, uh, but that doesn't mean that the suffering has uh, stopped, rather the opposite. So I'm so worried uh, that when we have these big gatherings, and I'm all for us meeting and talking to each other to try to make the, make the world a better place, I'm so worried that the, that the most marginalized, the most deprived people on this uh, earth do not have a voice in these, these gatherings. Uh, and I see myself as messenger for those, uh, those children. Save the, Chil uh, Save the Children is here to remind everyone that if we want a less divided world, a less fractured world, we must never forget, forget the suffering of the children in Yemen, Syria, uh, Bangladesh, the Rohingya children, and many more children. You mentioned the Rohingyas there. You've been to some of those refugee yeah. camps in Bangladesh. What was your experience? Well, I went to, uh, to Bangladesh in, uh, in November uh, and uh, met many of the Rohingyas who had come in from, uh, from Myanmar. We have to imagine this. This is so many people now. 650,000 people have fled into uh, to Bangladesh. Uh, basically, when I was there, they were living in makeshift uh, huts. We were handing out the most basic uh, supplies to, to people to Poland so they could build their houses, uh, cooking materials, really basic things, uh, and these people are suffering. This year, in 2018, 50,000 uh, babies will be born into that refugee camp, uh, and I'm just hoping that we can do something for them so they have at least a glimmer of a hope uh, of a life. Um, but what we're seeing now in, uh, in this camp is that there's, there's still immense human suffering, children are suffering, and we need to be very fast to help these children. You're a former politician yourself. Are yeah. you hopeful that the message that you're bringing here will be heard by the politicians who are here? See, the good news is that so much is being done. I mean, we have the biggest humanitarian crisis uh, that we've seen since the Second World War. At the same time, we have more humanitarian funding than we ever than we have ever seen. So things are being done. Governments are stepping up. The problem is that this human suffering is so enormous that we have to step up even more. And what my message is always a message of hope. It, it's not the case that we can't do anything. It's not the case that we should just give up uh, and lie under the duvet and say we can't do anything. We can change how things are. And I do believe that world leaders gathering in this week in Davos, uh, business leaders have a real role to play, play also for the suffering I'm talking about here. Okay, Helen Schmidt, thank you very much for thank speaking to us. Thank you for having us. me.